What's up Wanderers? This is KJ48 and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Planet Nomads. Planet Nomads is a sci-fi planet-based survival game. All right. It is not for sale on Steam yet, but uh, you might want to check their website. I will leave a link to their website in the description of this video. You might still be able to buy it there. They had a Kickstarter and it's over, but you might still be able to buy it from their website. It, remember, it is not on Steam yet. Um, they say they will eventually have multiplayer and will be a you will be able to go into space. Other than that, I really don't know a lot about this game. I played it for about an hour today and it's I had a lot of fun. So we're going to get into it. Let's do it. So you could do creative mode or survival. The uh, season one. And I guess that's a good as that's a good as uh, seed as any. This is the name of the this is the name of the um, the world and this is the seed. We'll go with season one. Actually, no, let's just do random numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i don't know how many i just did let's go <laughs> all right um yeah i played this for about an hour today it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun it's come a long way i ha i got a key for it from the developers actually i'm not sure if i got a key for it or if i bought it honestly i don't remember um I might have gotten in on the Kickstarter, but I don't remember. I have to check my Kickstarter profile. But I got it a while ago, and it... Oh, hold on. I, this is a little loud, so I apologize ahead of time. Maybe I'll turn it down in post. We'll see. Oh, man. We're, we, this stuff's getting real, man. We're about to crash. Yep. Okay. I guess we just crashed. All right, use E to get out of the escape, to escape from the escape pod. So here we are on a planet of some, some kind of planet. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I guess we were in a ship and it crashed. Uh, we've got our escape pod right here. We are going to have to come back to this thing every night to sleep. Well, not every night. You're basically going to have to come back to it anytime you get tired. All right. So let me go over some of the basics with you. Um, you press I to look at your inventory. You've got all kinds of stats here. You've got health. You've got stamina, you've got nutrition, you've got hydration, you've got temperature shield, you've got immunity, um, ability of the body to combat bio and radiation uh, radiation hazards depleted by consuming unprocessed food and water or by uh, external causes. Recharge by resting in a safe environment. Okay, so basically this is your immunity and it'll go down if you eat the wrong things or drink unpurified water, stuff like that. And there's actually some things in this in this forest that you can eat that will actually, is okay for you, but it, it'll lower your immunity as well. Um, I really like this the idea of immunity. It really gives you um, a feeling that, you know, you're eating stuff on an alien planet and it will, it will give you nutrition, but it's not exactly great for you. Um, the cool thing about this too, is all you have to do is sleep you could sleep it off right here you have body resilience and uh not amount of non-threatening uh injuries affecting uh affected by untreating wounds and by falling can be treated by bandages trauma kit or by resting so that's a, that's a good one too so We've got a, a suit, an exploration suit, MK1. We've got a jetpack MK1, and we've got a multi-tool MK1. Basic all-purpose tool can drill, cut, construct, and deconstruct blocks. Weapon as a, a weapon of last resort. Um, and now, as far as I can tell, I haven't played a ton of this game, but from what I've made in this game, I don't know if you get any weapons yet. Again, this is super early access, not even on Steam yet, so just keep that in mind as I play. Multi-tool switches uh, switches into backup mode um, and consumes energy from the suit. Primary mode, left mouse button yields resource types, veins, ores, but is more ener um, energetically demanding. Um, secondary mode uh, yields no resources, but is less uh, energy to operate. So basically, if you use left mouse button, you're going to get stuff back. If you use right mouse button, it's going to destroy something. Usually, it's something that's in your way, but you don't necessarily care about getting any, any items back. All right, uh, that's build mode. We'll go into that in a minute. This is, uh, well, actually, that's build mode too. I think that's about it. Let's start uh, gathering resources. So you can you can go ahead and uh, use left mouse button, and you can get uh, stuff from these rocks. Now, if you look on the bottom left-hand side, there's a couple stats there. Um, some of my stats are doing really well, so I get, like, I guess little bonuses or something. I'm well-fed, well-rested, all that kinds of stuff. So that's what these are. Uh, this is my health, obviously. This is my stamina. Um, food and drink they, these are always on the screen because you know it's important um, if you look on the bottom right hand side oh, keep doing that by accident if you look on the bottom right hand side I've got my multi-tool um, now the multi-tool as you use it it'll use up your suit energy okay so right here this little bar surrounding all my stats is my suit energy and watch what happens to it as I use the multi-tool all right see it's all being used up um, as you also look in the top right hand side of the screen, I am getting resource from this rock resource from this rock. 
And it's okay because as soon as you stop using the tool, your energy starts going up. So that's really cool. Um, and these rocks are really weird because some rocks give you resources better than others. And like these big rocks right here, if I mine this big rock, I probably would get no resources from it. Or if I did, I would get very little. All right, and that's using the multi-tool the way it is presented to me right now. But if you look right here, I've got batteries. So we're gonna. If you look on the multi-tool right here on the bottom on the bottom part of it, it says I have 210 energy in my in my inventory. So what we do is you just press R, and we're gonna go ahead and put one of those batteries into the multi-tool. Now the multi-tool uh, has 70 um, energy in it. It will not. It will not use. Oh, I gotta stop hitting tab. It's gonna be hard because tab is what I usually use to get in my inventory. And no, I don't want to remap it. Um, but anyway, um, it'll stop using it'll stop using energy from my my suit, and it'll use energy from the battery. Now, once you've done that, you'll get resources from these rocks a lot easier. You'll you'll mine quicker, and you'll get resource. All right, none there, none there. Okay, so some of these big rocks don't give me any resources at all. Okay, so you see some of these rocks. It seems to me the bigger the rock the less chances you're going to get resources from it. I don't seem to be getting any resources out of this either. Oh, there we go. We got some carbon. See? You want to, you want to get the bigger you want to get the bigger rocks first. Uh, these trees right here can give you um, biomass containers. And that's going to be really important. Um, again, these rocks are kind of like, yeah, we got a couple carbon there. Iron's the thing we want the most, by the way. So, but everything's, everything's useful. And again... I, I've, you know, I've only played this game for about an hour, and it's very strange in a lot of ways. Um, okay, so there, we used up all our energy. Now we can use this, and it'll take energy from our suit, and we'll just have to stop every once in a while to allow our energy to build back up. And as you can see, we're not getting anything from that stuff. So, um, what you're looking for is the really, really small boulders. Let me see. The first one I mined, that's the one you're looking for. You can grab these two. The biomass stuff is really interesting. Um, this is a pretty small one. Let's see if we get anything from this. Alright, so this one's taking a little while to mine out. Let's take a look. There we go. Got some carbon. Yeah, carbon's useful, but it's not as useful as iron. We really want iron so we can start our base. Um, and I know you guys might have been noticing F1. F1 brings up um, little tip things. This, uh, If you want to pause the video, you can. I pretty much know what all these. Um, T is for tools. I'm not really sure what T does. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not really sure what T does, but whatever. Um, T is for tools, so whatever that means. Uh, survival, um, you can get food, you get water, um, you're going to look for bushes, you're going to try and get fruitage. Water, you're going to get, you could you could just pick water up out of any body of water, it's pretty easy. Um, but it's dirty water, so if you drink it, it's going to it's gonna lower one of your stats, I forget which one. Um, then you want to eat and drink, you know, basic stuff, and rest. All right? you, want, you need to rest, and we'll get into that when we get tired. Um, you can knock down trees for biomass, but trees are really hard to knock down. So I tend to, I tend to not do those. I guess I'll save those for later. Um, also press F and you get a flashlight. Seems to be getting dark already. I'm here, John, with you guys. Uh, okay, so there's survival. Then you got building. I'll tell you about how to build. I mean, you can pause the video if you care enough, but I will show you how to build. Um, build vision. Again, that's, that's what tab. Remember I keep hitting the tab button? That's what tab does. And vehicles. All right, so let's see if we can get some more stone. Oh, that looks like a good one right here. Look at this one. All right, we're going to go ahead and load this thing up with uh, more power. All right, let's get some stone. Oh, crap, I can't hold it. What What do I have that's... Oh, my inventory's full. That's not good. Uh, let's go ahead and drink this water. Oh, no, it gives us back 20 water. Crap. It means we're going to lose some aluminum. Yeah, whatever. All right, we need to look for a place to build. Now, I normally go to uh, go to a like near a body of water to build, but I think I want to stay near this thing because I'm gonna have to sleep in this escape pod all the time uh, until I get my until I get my own like um, not escape pod, but I forget what they called it uh, stasis chamber. And the stasis chamber is not gonna be for a while, so I'm gonna build a little I'm gonna build a little thing in this area. Um, I guess this would be a good spot right here. I just kind of want some flat ground. All right, once you find a place to build, you're going to press tab, and then you're going to go into... I was already in build mode. You're going to go into build mode, or you could just press B to go into build mode. So, that actually works, too. You got the base foundation. I'm going to drag it down here on number one, then I'm going to press number one, and then we got to put down a base foundation. Um, normally, I like to put my foundations as high as possible when I play games, but in this game, it doesn't matter because... Check it out. 
as soon as you put it down, all the look at all the all the uh, grass leaves the area. I love that. How many times have we been playing games where the stupid glass is always in or the stupid grass is always in the way? I mean, how annoying is that, right? So, so we got a little platform here. All right. Now you're you're gonna be able to craft certain things. Uh, you're gonna be able to craft more things as you craft. Um, we'll be unlocking things as we craft. So the next thing we're gonna see we we had the base foundation. That's the only thing we can make, and it opened up the bio generator. Bio generator is simply a um, power generator, basically. Um, although it doesn't take power, which is a little annoying to me because it feels a little cheap, to be honest. But we'll take it because early access, I can't see anything. There we go. We're going to build this. You look on the top left-hand side. It shows what it needs and what we're giving it. And now that thing should be just about built. We can't do anything with it just yet. Let's go back into the build menu and take a look at the medium 3D printer. 3D printer is going to allow us to build things. Kind of like, what was that other game that had a 3D printer? Astroneer. Astroneer, yeah. So I got the 3D printer and we'll put that. You don't want to put it right up against this thing. You kind of want to leave some room. Um, that would probably be enough room. If you mouse wheel, it'll, like, turn it. Uh, now nah, you know what, we're gonna put it like this. Because we're trying to save as much room as we can. I think that'll work. Alright, so we're gonna build this thing. And they basically give you enough resources to build these, these first couple items. So we're gonna go into build menu now. Now this thing needs power. Okay, if we go into this, it needs power. So what we're gonna do in build menu is we're gonna press C. And once you press C, there's a couple things you can do. You can turn it off. Connect electricity, disconnect electricity, or rename block. I'm going to press the connect electricity. Look at this thing. Left mouse click, and there you go. It's connected. This is, I love the way these things are connected. I don't like the need for wiring in these games. Um, if you guys ever played Creativeverse, I think Creativeverse does it great. And this game doesn't like Creativeverse. Um, you got a little invisible wire there. It, the game, it's connected, and when you get out of build menu, the wire goes away. I freaking love it. I think that's the best. Um... Yeah, the, the idea of running wires in these games, just, I don't think, I don't like it. Alright, so, here we go, we could build, a, now we could build little materials to um, finish what we're making. So, alright, so what we're going to look, what are we going to look at here? The next thing we want to build is a container. We need a place to put stuff where uh, we can't hold, like, anything. So we need a place to put stuff, and we'll just kind of, I don't know, put this over here. It's a good spot for it. No, that's a good spot for it too. And we are we are going to need two mechanical parts. So we need to get two mechanical parts. So we're going to come in our, our medium 3D printer and look for mechanical parts. I believe those are these. And we're going to make two of those. Okay. And while those are being made, I'm going to go out here and look for some more rocks to break open. Um, yeah, I was getting stuff from these rocks when I was playing my test game. So, oh, uh, you know what? I don't have any room for anything. I probably shouldn't mine anything. Never mind. Sorry, guys. We can't mine anything. Whatever. This stuff's probably just about done anyway. There we go. Double click. Oh, I got no room. Uh, so what do I do if I have no room? That's a... Uh, can we drink this water now? It gives us 20. <sighs> Alright, I'll drink the freaking water. I need the room. I didn't... Like, I was at 84, so I kind of wasted four things of water there, but that's okay. What are you going to do, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and finish this thing. And now we can put some stuff in there. So let's, um, we're going to hold on to our battery. We're going to put the nutrition capsules in there. And we're going to put the herbs in there. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's see what we can build next. And, and this is the way we go, guys. This is how we get started. I think the next thing we're going to make is the is the compound, uh, the compact fad machine. It's basically a food machine. It makes food for us. So we're going to go ahead and put that down if we can. Um, we're missing basic frames, so we can't put it down. So let's come in here and make some basic frames. Uh, we'll just make one for now, although I know I'm going to need more. Um, I think I'm pretty much out of iron. I got enough iron to make one more item, and then we're going to have to go and get more iron. So uh, there we go, food machine. Oh, it's on my hopper. I forgot. There we go. Uh, that works. That'll work. All right, so we're missing a lot of stuff. We're missing frames. We're missing electrical parts. We're missing everything. Everything. And we don't have enough iron. So we'll just make one frame and then we'll come out here and get some more iron. So let's see if we get anything from these rocks. Not really. There we go. We are getting stuff from these rocks. Although silicon's not really what I'm looking for, but All right, we're going to reload this. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I was like, ooh, that was weird. I was looking at my, my pot over there, and I thought that's where I came from. But then I was like, no, I came from over here. Oh, yeah. 
I came from my base. Yeah, these these rocks suck. Let's let's get this rock right here. This is what we're hitting before. There we go. These give us a lot. By the way, you can dig in this game as well. Although I haven't dug yet. But, um, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, okay, I am tired. Once you're tired, um, let's see what tired actually does to us. Exactly. Get rid of that. Alright, tired. Body energy dropping. Slight impact on body functions like nutrition and hydration. Uh, rest recommended. Alright, we'll uh, get a, look for a couple more rocks and then we'll go to sleep. Uh, here we go. No, that's wood. This is one right here. Another cool thing about being right next to our being right next to our drop pod thingy is that uh, we can always find our way home easily. Yes, there are things that will hurt us on this planet, although it's not like it. Ha it has not been super dangerous for me thus far. Um, I'm sure that'll change, you know, later on. Let's try and get one more rock and then go back and go to sleep. Uh, should we go for one of these bigger boulders? Mm, maybe. They don't seem to give you. Oh, this one looks promising. Oh, there we go. We got something out of this one. Yeah, I seem to get more stuff when I like have when I use batteries rather than my suit energy. Although I don't think that would matter, but I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? All right, let's go back and go to sleep. So I'll show you how to go to sleep now. All right, so we're gonna come in here. You're gonna walk up to it, press E, and then when you're inside spacebar, it's gonna ask if you want to rest. And um, as you're resting, uh, the game starts going into like super speed. Um, and I'm getting like four frames per second now, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, and as you could tell, my food and thirst meters are actually going down too. So it's not a, it's not a free lunch in here, so to speak. All right, but we are now well rested. So let's come on over here and see what we can do here. So what do we, wow. Okay. So I've never died. I guess I was running too fast. Um, so there you go. I get a new drop pod or I could do last drop pod respawn. So, let's see what happens when you die. <laughs> All right. Travel north, find a temperature effects that environment. Oh, north and south will change temperatures. That's interesting. Just like real life. Okay. And here we are. Okay. Let's not try and run into this thing and die again. I wonder if my bag will be over here or did I, did I lose everything? Yep, I did. Okay. But that looks like my bag. Okay. Uh, can I, is there a take all? I don't think so. Just double click. Now will it go away? Um, so I can change the name of it. I uh, don't really think I could do too much more with it. Hopefully it'll just despawn. Alright, so we need basic frame, electric parts. Basic frame, electric parts. What else? Uh, two mechanical, two plating. Two plating... And to mechanical. Come on. Come on, hurry up, man. I, I don't has all day or all night. All right, so that used up pretty much all our iron, but we will be able to eat now, which is nice. So you just grab this stuff out of here. And you can, this is kind of like Space Engineers type stuff. Um, if I had to compare this game to any other game, it, it reminds me a little bit more of Space Engineers, although some of it reminds me, and I don't mean this in a bad way, I mean the good parts of it. Some of it reminds me of the good parts of No Man's Sky. So, we'll see where it goes. Okay, one more p mechanical part, and there we go, and now we can eat. So in here, oh, we need power. Alright, remember how to do the power? Come over here, C, connect, connect, boom. Love it. Alright, so we can make purified water out of water and those little flowers. Those little, I think they're herbs. Um, we can make electrolyte water with the herbs, the, the, the purified water and some pumpkins or something, I guess. Um, that one's 20, this one's 35, so that's, oh, two of the flowers, huh? Okay. We can make nutrition capsules, okay, that's good. We can make superfood. Uh, we can make dried meat. Uh, oh, dried meat uh, gives you negative something. What is that? Negative immunity. That's fine. That's fine. Um, dried fruit and bio paste. Bio paste is where we're going to live off for a little while. So let's go ahead and make some of that. All right. So that that'll that'll keep us uh, that'll keep us uh, you know alive for a while so we can start killing animals to uh, get some meat. 
All right, so the next thing we're going to make is a solar... Eh, we don't really need a solar beacon. Solar beacon would be... Would allow us to find our base again, but... What's that plus? Plus three? What is that? Oh, that's how close I am to it? I think that's... Okay, so I think that plus is my bag. So that's how I would find my bag. And the numbers are how close and far away I am from it. Say so five, six, closer. Alright, so what do we want to make next? Let's make a... Well, that's a, a wall corner. I don't care about that. We got that. I think the compact armory is the next thing to make. Alright. So, let's go ahead and make a compact armory. Well, we can actually build somewhere else if we want to now. I'm just going to build here, though. There's no reason not to build here. It's a, it's a nice spot. There's not a lot of water in the area. We'll have to do some exploring. I'm going to do some exploring next video, though. This video is just about us getting started. Alright, so compact armory. So, we're going to need six of... We're going to need six basic frames. So we're going to need a lot of iron. Let's go get some iron. Um, the armory is going to allow us to make battery packs for this gun, for this uh, multi-tool we have. And this multi-tool is a big turd right now because I don't have any more batteries for it. So it's pretty crappy. I'm not even going to bother with any of these big rocks. Like I said, um, when I don't have batteries for the multi-tool, these big rocks like rarely ever give me anything. So I'm going to leave those for when I have batteries. I'm going to look for the smaller the smaller boulders like this, these right here. Actually, even these... Well, maybe. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. This one didn't even give me anything. It took a long time to cut through it, and it didn't even give me anything. Wow. Alright, well... Let's look for the ones that are kind of like... They're like more shiny, I guess. And by the way, this game is very laggy. Um, but not really laggy, just laggy at certain points. You know, like, you'll be going along and everything will be fine, and all of a sudden a lag spike will hit you. Probably, you know, loading a new area or something. Yeah, this, this with this multi-tool, I can see the comparisons. I can see the comparisons of No Man's Sky. But I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I like No Man's Sky, too. It's just, uh, this game has a way bigger... Sc I could tell this game's going to be better right off the bat. Mm, Alright, so there we go. These These are the ones we're looking for. So what did I say? I need six of these. So um, we're going to need 18 iron just to make those six. So we're going to need quite a bit of iron. We are going to need quite a bit of iron. Is this one a good one, you think? Let's try. Oh, yep, it is. Very cool, very cool. So what do you guys think of this game? Are, are you excited? Do you want to see more? You know, Let me know in the comments. Um, you know, Like the video if you want to see more. Uh, let me know because um, you know, I'm having a good time with this game, but you know, it's only going to be worth it if you guys will watch it. So, let me know what you think. Are you, are you guys... Does anybody have it? Has anyone bought it? Has anyone watching this bought this game? Is it, is it actually still for sale? Let me know. Because honestly, I don't know. I didn't I didn't have time to go to their website today. Um, although, I, I probably will at some point. Alright, so we've already got 24 iron. So, you actually... The iron, if you hit the right boulders, um, you get a pretty decent amount of iron. I'm going to get a little bit more. And then I think we're going to make that armory and call it a video. Oh, what is this? What is this madness? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Um, is this something special or probably just wood, right? Yeah, it's just biomass. Anything interesting under here? I've never dug down. Don't worry, guys. We'll dig down at some point. By the way, if you press, if you you do have a jetpack, so I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> hey guys, just about making it home. And I got a bunch of iron. I hope I have enough iron for this armory. I think that would be pretty cool. And uh, let's see what we got here. So, what did I need for the armory? Ah, I don't remember. Six of those basic frames. I think I have one on me, right? Yeah. So, we need five more basic frames. I don't know why I keep going to the food thing. One, two, three, four. All right. So, one more basic frame. And what else are we going to need? Eh, it's not too much stuff, really. Three plates. Should not be a problem. Alright, so one more of those. What did I say? Three plates? One. Two more plates. One more plate! Oh, man. Sit in this chair too much today. Make a lot of videos today, guys. Alright, so that's three plates. And what else? Um, four of those and four of those. Four electronic parts. I like electronic parts because they don't take iron. Alright, two more electronic parts and four more mechanical parts. Alright. Now, I could make more. I could make more foundations, but I don't know. I kind of want to get the batteries done. Okay, mechanical parts. I want to get the batteries back in my gun so I can start collecting resources more efficiently. 
All right, come on, come on, man. Damn, take forever. Why do you take so long, dude? Come on, mechanical parts, man. And I still had six iron left over. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Uh, is it full? It's probably full. All right, so let's uh, press... Go to build mode. C. Ugh. A little tricky there. There we go. Connect that. Get out of build mode. Come right here. And now we can make... These ALM things are just... Uh, just things you need for other buildings. They don't actually do anything to themselves. You can make a suit battery. Um, it instantly recharges your suit energy source uh, to power suit functions. I'm not really sure what that's for because my suit repowers anyway, so I'm not really sure. This is what I really like, though, the batteries. That's the things I use for my guns, the three things I use in the beginning. Then you can make upgraded suits, upgraded jetpacks, and upgraded multi-tools. So there we go. All right, guys. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you leave the comments and the likes and let me know. And um, I'm really excited to play it. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.